right here on News 11. Well, a race to the finish in Yuma. It was a big day on foot and Wednesday for another edition of the city championship, this time for cross country at Kofa High School. So let's get right to it. Five schools going toe to toe in this one. There's the St. Louis Sidewinders. You got the Kofa Kings, the Gila Ridge Hawks all ready to go here. The nice team, a little chat before we go. You got the Yuma Criminals, just a couple of criminals in this one. They're all smiles, ready to just start running. And then the Cibola Raiders. All in full force for this one. Ready to take off on the boys' side. There's Gila Riches as Wardo Marquez getting some last-minute stretches in before taking off. And here we go. Right out of the gate, there were a lot of black Raider jerseys and Kofa King jerseys leading the pack when coming back into viewing distance after circling the canal. And Ray Smucker Park it was Cibola's Alan Ornelas all alone leading the pack down the final stretch of the 3.1 mile course. A couple hundred feet behind was Gila Ridges Eduardo Marquez that we just saw a few moments ago. In the end though, here is Ornelas racing to the finish. Takes the top spot with a crushing time of 16 minutes and 35 seconds. Marquez with rolling right behind him there at 16.48. And for Ornelas, he used every bit of strength he could to cross that finish line as a champion after almost passing out. Marquez not too thrilled with his performance, but giving credit where credit is due. Around like the last maybe 100 meters, 200, I blacked out. Yeah, I, like I knew what was happening around me, but I do not remember one single thing. This year I tried my hardest ever since like the first meet to push myself hardest to get to this position right here. I'd like to congratulate Alan. He did uh, beat me. Uh, he did push it. And um, it was just a tough course. It was very hilly, and it really got to me mentally. Yeah, so bowl is Isaiah Lazaro that you see right there, rounded up the top three with all Raiders and Kings racing down the final stretch to round out the next 11 spots. In the end, though, it was the Raiders who claimed the overall best team score, taking home the city championship. Now to the girls' varsity event. Eyes on that city championship trophy. Again, competing with San Luis, Kofa, Yuma, Gila Ridge, and Cibola once again, all aiming to break some PRs, personal records as they call them. All the girls taking off from that start line on a 3.1 mile adventure on the outskirts of Kofa High School. Now coming down the final stretch by the canal, it would be Cibola's Isabella Irizola was all alone ahead of the pack there with a pretty big lead. A little bit behind her was Kofa Sabrina Anaya and then followed by more black jerseys there of Cibola girls. In the end, Irizola right there just crossing the finish line, needing some water would take home the top time with a uh, time of 20 minutes and 56 seconds right there is Sabrina Anaya for Kofa would roll in just over a minute later with a time of 22 minutes and 10 seconds and for the champion Arizola she pulled off the amazing accomplishment while not even being 100 percent she actually had a stress fracture in her femur from the spring and has slowly made her way back to recovery. What did it feel like when you crossed that finish line? Uh, honestly, I just wanted to throw up. <laughs> uh, but it, it feels good. I mean, I've been working all season, and I was injured, and so I just like pushed through that injury, and I'm still in recovery. So it feels really amazing. Yeah, Arizola also gave huge credit to her teammates at Cibola, and she said that he, she can't even describe how much she loves her team. It's a team that took four of the top five spots and five of the top seven spots, leading to their first place team finish, and that completing the sweep. Both boys and girls winning the city title. Up next for our Yuma area schools is sectional. So Cibola sweeping it in the city championship for cross country. That's all the time we have for sports.